Hey guys, Nigeria is finished though. Nigerian government has been exposed again as they allocate 40, 47.3 billion naira for rehabilitation of 50 schools without locations and mid budget pardon scandal. How we would take common from this Wahala? Sagara reporters earlier reported that the non suspended. The now suspended Senator Aduningi two weeks ago alleged that the leadership of the Senate padded the 2024 budget by 3.7 trillion naira as Nigerians continue to prove into the alleged padding of 2024 bu budget passed by the National Assembly. It was learned that 47.5 billion was allocated in the budget of the Ministry of Education for the renovation and provision of learning materials in 50 schools across Nigeria. The locations of the schools were not stated. Sahara reporters earlier reported that the new suspended Senator Aduningi two weeks ago alleged that the leadership of the Senate padded the 2024 budget by 3.7 trillion. Ningi, a People's Democratic Party member, representing Bauchi Central, had alleged that the Senate leadership under Godun Okbabio and the presidency padded the budget being implemented, implemented. He alleged that the budget being implemented by the governor, government was different from the one passed by the National Assembly. Meanwhile, page 377 of the 2024 Appropriation Act with ERUGP 2024399 under the Federal Ministry of Education, line 10 says 47.5 billion was allocated to 50 selected government secondary schools across the nation for infrastructure, upgrade, and provision of education materials and teaching tools. Meanwhile, Arise News TV, Anchor Oseni Rufai, who shared the budget document on his ex handle questioned whether the allocation affirmed some of the concerns raised by Senator Nigi on the budget currently implemented by the federal government. He wrote, The Ministry of Education has been allocated for 47.5 billion naira for the renovation of 50 schools across Nigeria with undisclosed locations. Does this affirm some of the concerns raised by Senator Ad Aduningi? Meanwhile, some of Nigerians, some, some Nigerians as users have decried the rate of alleged dishonest and illegal activities in the government system. Okay, I will not be calling name. The first person I have here said, transparency is the greatest issue in Nigeria. They intentionally did not include locations so that nobody will monitor or question them. That stealing and embezzlement of public funds by politicians have been the, the, the lot of uh, Nigerian. Stealing and embezzling of public funds is what Nigerian politicians are good at. They know that Nigerian people don't care. People have adjusted their lifestyle to the hardship and the situations of things in town now, the S user said. The allocation of 47.5 billion for school renovation without disclosing the locations raises valid concerns about transparency and accountability in government spending. Senator Aduningi's concerns about budgetary practices and oversight are echoed in the situation, highlighting the need for greater screening and uh, clarity in resource allocation to ensure to ensure effective use of public funds. Transparency matter, accountability is needed. It is difficult to accurately assess the concerns raised by Senator Adunengi without further information on the spices of his concerns. However, the allocation of 
5 billion for the renovation of 50 schools across Nigeria can be seen as a significant investment in the education sector. The impact of the allocation on the quality of education and the learning environment in these schools will depend on the efficient and transparent use of these funds. It is essential for the Ministry of Education to ensure that the renovation projects are carried out effectively and that the allocated funds are used for their intended purpose. Maybe this person not understand what then they talk. <laughs> they not talk, say, relocating uh, uh, 47.5 billion naira to renovate schools, public schools, and uh, learning materials. Say they are bad, though. The, the, the issue here is that there is no allocation, no school was found. So if you now relocate that money to renovate schools and there is no school, is, no school was found, so where are the money going to? So that is it. It will be very, very difficult for Nigerians to trust our political leaders. They have disappointed us time without number. They can never be trusted. Even when you they catch them red-handed, they go still want to, you know, justify, you know, their acts and all that. That is why I said it's going to be very difficult for Nigerians to trust them again. By the end of all this wala, nothing is going to happen. That 3.7 trillion naira is not going to be found. Okbabio and the rest, nothing is going to be, nothing is going to happen to them. Not be today all this thing started. This is Nigeria for you. But know that nothing lasts forever. Time will come when people will say, no, we are not going to take this any longer. Nigeria belongs to every one of us. This is our father's land. And we, all of us, we enjoy, you know, the, the dividends of democracy, not for some particular set of people. So guys, what's your take on this? Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. I beg, not forget to share this video. Share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening in the Nigerian political landscape.